too afraid to venture further than these gates. Jonathan Davids fears his community's reprisal. He was one of the two prime suspects in the Anin Boyson rape and murder trial. Let's go back to, to the night of Anin's attack. What, what do you remember about that night? All I remember is that she passed me in the pub, slapped my head and greeted me. She said she's here too and I nodded. After a few hours later, she was dead and David's behind bars. But three months later, all the charges against him have been withdrawn. He claims police got it wrong from the start when Anin identified him by his nickname Zwai on a deathbed. She probably mentioned me because she thought I knew her attackers. That's why I think she mentioned my name. David says police were also wrong about blood on his shoes and scratches on his body. Those weren't scratch marks, they were chafe marks. I was in a fight that Saturday afternoon before they arrested me. After fighting, I went to sleep, then the police woke me up and locked me up. Jonathan Davids may be a free man, but the fact remains that his name has been tainted not only in his community, but throughout the world. Something David says is hard to accept. I can't believe they thought the worst of me. After all, they know me, especially her mother. I can't believe it. David is still deciding whether he'll sue the state. He first wants to pick up the pieces. Leanne Jansen, Bredasdorp, in the Western Cape. News that moves. ENCA.com.